Yo, YouTube, what it is? It's your girl, Jungle. I am a mixing and recording engineer in Orlando, Florida, and I do have my own recording studio as well. All right, so this channel is going to be all about Studio One, all right? I'm going to be helping you guys um, create session templates, help you guys um, get better with recording, and get better with mixing. All right, so we're going to jump right into it, okay? So we're going to go right up here. We're going to click the plus sign, all right? And we're going to give this a name, and we're going to uh, call it Creating a Template. All right, this next step right here is very important. All right, so this is where you're going to um, select whatever drive that you have and make sure you have your folder set up because this is where your, your sessions are going to go. This is where your bounce files are going to go, okay? Um, it's very important to be organized whether you're recording yourself or others. Um, so that way it's easier to find the songs where you need to send out the sessions or once you bounce the songs down to send it out to the client, all right? Um, the sample rate is up to you, 44 or 48, doesn't matter, it's your preference. 24-bit, you can leave it on bars, or you can leave the length at 5 minutes. And we're going to click OK. All right, so now what we have here, this is a blank session. All right, so what we, now we're going to do is we're going to start adding tracks, all right? So we're going to click this plus sign right here to add tracks. All right, so the first thing we're going to add is we're going to add a beat track. Then we're going to go to format and we're going to click the drop down menu. We're going to change it to stereo. All right, and then we're going to press OK. All right, your beat track is being created. And then we're going to go back to the plus sign and we're going to add our, um, our audio tracks. So we're going to add five. We're going, to go, we're going to go back to format and we're going to click the drop down menu and we're going to change this back to mono. And then we're going to click OK. All right, your tracks have been created. Next, we're going to rename these tracks. All right, and next things next, we're going to color code these. So this is blue, red. Hold shift and highlight these. Orange and yellow for the lid. All right, and the next step is we're going to add um, bus tracks. All right, so you're going to right click and add a bus. So we're going to add a Vox bus, um, a lip bus. I like to keep everything separate. And an EFX bus, as well as a mix bus. All right, and then we're going to rename these, okay? All right, and we can color code these as well. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our um, reverb and delay. All right, so we're gonna go to click on the browse. We're gonna go to effects, and we're gonna drag and drop. And once you drag and drop, it is automatically going to create your bus sends for you. Press the reverb. All right, and your sends have been created. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to route these to the proper channels. All right, so we're going to take the beat bus and we're going to send it to the mix bus. And highlight your lead tracks and send them to the Vox bus, lip bus to the lip bus. The reverb and delay, we're going to send that to the EFX bus. All right, and then all three of these. Your Vox bus, your lip bus, and your FX bus, we're going to route those to the mix bus. And your your mix bus is going to go straight to your master or your main out. All right. Now, the next step is we are going to save this template. All right. We're going to go to file, and we're going to go to save as template. All right. And this is going to pop up. You can add whatever title you want, whatever description. You can also add an icon, a picture. All right. So then we're going to click OK. Boom, template is saved. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, we're gonna hit the home button. It's gonna take us back to the main screen. We're gonna click new, right? And then this is gonna pop up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna click user, right? And this is where all of your templates are going to be at once they are saved. And then we're gonna click over and then we're gonna open up the template. And there you have it. How to create a recording template in Studio One.